Hello, my beautiful Virgos! Welcome to your weekly reading. This is for the third week in October. General energy loves. And since many, many of you have been requested a little different reading, here we are. We will modify this weekly. And of course, if this works for you or this really feels good, to hear these messages will do for the future as well. Modifying the reading in three. First part will be for singles for the week, messages for you, because sometimes we get a storyline, sometimes we get messages. And next we'll do couples. If you are married, committed, that could be your energy. And the third one is for those in third parties or feel like you are with someone but might not feel like so because you know it happens as well the third party could be any kind of situation could be a person in between could be a situation in between anything whatever it's in the middle that's the third party let's see loves general energy as always take it accordingly so let's see singles couples third bodies. Let's see, guys. Oh my goodness. What do we got for single Virgos? All right. Virgos. What are the messages, the blessings for this week? Three of Swords and Queen of Swords. It's kind of change of heart. Something here, it's changing. And it's changing dramatically for some of you. You know, there is a saying, never make radical decisions when you are at rage or when you hurt or when you are in hurry. Three of Pentacles, Magician. Knight of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Six of Cups, Ten of Swords, and Justice. Yes. There's definitely here a change for some of you. And a decision. Whatever that decision is, this is happening definitely in the Libra season before we go into the Scorpio season because this week starts from the time you view or from the 15, 16 till the 23rd. So indeed here there is some, uh, some kind of issue, whatever that issue is, but it seems here that comes here from a um, past situation. That could be six months ago, even up to three years. So it's not a situation that happens yesterday or this week. Three of Swords, Tower, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, somebody here really been hurt with the Five of uh, Cups. It's like somebody here feel, felt stabbed in the back. But somebody here, it's kind of, I want to make the fair or to make this fair or to work on these things. So for some of you, if somebody here hurt you or vice versa, you hurt someone, they, they want to come and do the right thing. All that will not be easy. Somebody here definitely has regrets regard certain things. But I feel here somebody here definitely decides to go ahead and work it through. I feel here there is a conversation, whoever is this person, 
no matter the zodiac sign because I have all the zodiac signs but again don't rush into conclusions too fast too quick there's something here about we both grow so for some of you definitely here there's something might get resolved but I don't see here it's way too quick or fast will take time definitely time it's in your favor or you are lying yes absolutely I feel here definitely this situation can work you through but again, it's kind of gradually or slowly to go into it. Because I feel here this will be in your favor more likely and in the situation's favor. Whatever the situation is, Spirit says, will be fairly at the end. But Virgo will not be easy. It's a very heavy situation here. Whatever that is, could be um, a court situation, work situation. Again, it's not an easy situation to be deal with, but definitely worth. And definitely I see here that the universe, it kind of like take this from you if you're not gonna put it in work or will bless you with more if you do whatever that is so there is a situation here that could be a blessing in disguise or could be a, a really great blessing for you if you will work it through whatever that speaks to you loves but definitely here with the magician you can you get everything. You got everything to work it through. So, singles, whatever that is, and you are going through. You definitely can work it. The Virgos who are in couples, married or even committed, what are the energies we get for you? What are the messages? Three of Wands, Two of Swords, Judgment, Page of Pentacles, and Eight of Cups. King of Cups. It's kind of like you, you realize that where you are right now, it's not your place. For some of you, you could refuse to believe for a very long time. It's like, it's like you know clearly what you do want or who you do want or it's like what your life can be or could be. Yeah, absolutely. So if you are in some kind of situation right now, I don't see you happy. As much as I want to tell you, you are happy and great. I don't see you happy. But somebody here could refuse for a long time to see it or to acknowledge it. I see here for some of you, you are, I acknowledge it now, or even last month, you, you could question yourself where I am, where I gotta go, what I gotta do. One more card here. Yeah. Am I happy? Where my happiness stands? How do I feel myself happy and so on? Because I don't see you having peace. Emotional peace. Brain. 
mental peace. It's like something here was bothering you for a long time. I, I'm seeing here robotic energies, like I feel like this is the right thing and I don't need to think about too much or that everyone does and it's okay and so and so. But no. Like for some of you, it's like you could felt in an energy that you can't find your peace. You can't find your place. It's like not even in your own home. You could not find your place. The Eight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Six of Wands. Yes. For some of you, definitely here you are working on certain things. And moving forward. For some of you, you could be here with someone and... I don't want to say, but I'm going to say it for you, Virgo, because you, you feel like this person done a spell on you or something done on you that kept you this way, but you are not happy. Or for some of you, you could try with someone to be happy and, and you see them always distant or the connection is distant or you distant each other. And even though someone here tried to do something, not working because I feel here whoever you try to work things out did not work and I feel here now you realize that it's time to move on it's time to go for some of you you might travel to to see a relative or a person or you could even travel for a work interview and then you find like this is it this is where I want to be this is where I feel better. Look at this, six of wands. This is where I feel better. And you finally can see yourself in a new energy or into a new vibration. For some of you, could have Leo in the chart or Sag. For some of you, there's a conversation here with someone. And not quite sure how that will go. But yes. Yes. I feel here for some of you, definitely. It's a hot, cold energy with whoever you are right now. And you could have been thinking, should I let this person go or not? I feel here you, you were thinking for quite a while about the finances. But now, no, I feel here you, yeah, you definitely are feeling here, you, you are on the move. You're absolutely here moving on, giving yourself a chance to move on. It's kind of somebody here, you know, it's when you are both young. But this person changed a lot. A lot. Like now you are in the queen and the king, but it's a hot cold up and down, up and down. So those Virgos who are, who are in couple, I feel here you, you definitely think other options or other things where you realizing there is other other things that definitely are to fulfill your heart. Okay, those in third parties where you feel that there is an, an obstacle, an obstacle out there in between. Let's see what this is for and how this blesses you. Hermit. Deep down, you, you're kind of searching for answers. For some of you, you might feel quite lonely at this time, or you are searching what makes you happy, or how how is when I will be happy, or what happiness is. World. Nine of Cups. 
Lovers and the Hierophant. It's kind of you and something. Yes, was pretty fun, certain, you know, connections out there. And for some of you, you, you could consider yourself a, a bachelor or a bachelorette for life. But certain things here is just kind of like, hold on a little bit. This life of living, you know, and fulfilling my desires got to change. Because I feel here it's kind of like, you are pretty good looking Virgo, okay? Don't get me wrong. You are pretty active, could be, you know, sexually, or you used to be very active. Yes, you could get any partner or any person out there if you really wanted them. But nothing could fulfill you. Like, don't get me wrong, on physical level, was perfect or was great. But somebody here is just kind of, I'm done that part to be just physical fulfilled or meeting people or random people having some kind of connection and that's it like you want something more now or you are searching for more and now your question is they are more because probably for a good part was great just to be involved you know, on a physical level with someone. But now, what is more is just like physical, emotional, spiritual, in many other levels to be fulfilled. Yeah, it's like for some of you, you could even resist to get emotionally involved with others. Yeah, it's just like you, you could keep it just superficial. Like having a couple weeks, couple months, and that's it. But now it's just kind of, I'm not going to resist this because I want something more. For some of you, there is a person there. And for some of you, you could keep this way because you, you could have other goals in life. Other things. And for some of you, if you were refused by someone in particular, that's the one you wanted. Absolutely. But I definitely see here, for some of you, you, you want to you wanna make your own, your own life, your own family. But something here scares you. For some of you, you could not want it, kids. What could refuse to have kids just because of responsibility or taking responsibility? There's certain things here that you you could could be afraid to get involved in. But Knight of Cups or Five of Swords or the offers being done was not good. And for some of you could be a person out there who did something wrong. But there is love out there. Definitely is. Even though you don't see it, even though you don't see it, there is love, there is commitment. We have three aces there, loves. Look at here. It's like beyond the superficial life, there is love. It's a beautiful energy here, loves. Seven of Pentacles. And here you are. King of Pentacles, Hangman. For some of you, you, you could have someone which either cheated or lied to you a lot. But definitely here there is someone here for you. Yeah. And I feel here you could, you could be quite a good time single, but you're not going to be single anymore. Yeah, look at here. There is your person coming in. This is your life partner, loves. This is your life partner. 
So sometimes it's good to take time and to rediscover you. Seven of Swords and Ten of Cups. The thing here is not about to escape certain things, feelings. The things is about to to do the things the way you want or to go forward to the person you want. So for for some of you, yes, you could be betrayed. You could say, I'm done having people around or or you could be in the past here with someone that ended not pretty well. Whatever that is. But I feel here there is someone here which will give you this energy that it is possible. It is possible because there is other people in this world. So loves, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonates, speaks to you. It does. Please let us know. And of course, I'll see all of you next time. Blessings. Bye for now.